Now, just in a few minutes, we'll do a quick tutorial covering all the AI new features with the Versal AI. Now I'll show you how to deploy a fully deployed AI chat application integrated with the Versal AI's faster streaming API for OpenAI that also works with Replicate, Hugging Face, Chain, and so on. Now we'll use Postgres to persist the messages because we want to make this trail a bit more interesting and something more realistic. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description, so uh, don't worry about that. But first we're gonna to navigate to the Versal uh, blog and you're gonna scroll down to the AI section we're gonna click on the SDK. So we have here is three different screens. You're gonna, you basically can pick as many models as you want. So we're gonna, we have Replicate, we have OpenAI, 3.5 on the left, 4.0 on the right. And as you can see, I'm, I'm basically putting in a prompt here and it is providing different responses so we can see which one is better for our use case. Another thing you'll notice is that you could easily find the code for the front end and the back end uh, using Next.js and this is really amazing. Now what we're gonna do instead is I'm gonna go back to the, basically the open source SDK, which is uh, shown right here. And uh, what I typically like to do is go to, I like to go to the example section. And here we found the next open AI. I'm actually gonna copy this and start from this. And I'm gonna go into my terminal. I'm gonna copy that over. Uh, in just a few seconds, it will download everything and we'll get started with the code right away. So I'm uh, sitting into the directory right now and I'm opening Visual Studio Code. Now you'll see on the left side, all the, all the folders, all the libraries are already installed. All we really have to do is npm run dev and we'll see what happens. Now I'm gonna enter localhost 3000 just to see if the application works. Now when I start entering something, I'll notice that there's actually an error. That's because we're missing our open API key, which is available on openai.com. Now I'm gonna create one here and kind of copy it um, and I'm gonna use it. Now we need to basically create that env.local uh, file here and add in our open API key. So once we do that and we again rename it to that env.local, I'm gonna restart the uh, repository and see if this works. So now I refreshed and I'm gonna try to enter something and voila, the application worked. But now I'm, get, I'm gonna give it a bigger prompt and what it's gonna do is I'm just gonna ask you to write, to write three paragraphs. And you'll see how quickly it responds with the streaming API. And this is the beauty of this new Versal AI package because we don't have to wait five to 10 to 20 seconds sometimes for, for an open AI to respond on top of Versal, on top of uh, Hugging Face and others. And that's because we have the streaming first UI helpers, which is right here in the blog. And uh, basically now I'm gonna show you exactly what this is. So on top you see we have the use chat uh, import from the AI React. And we're basically, what we're doing is we are importing uh, those functions and with about 30 to 40 lines of code, all this stuff just works. And on the back end, what we have is just we're using OpenAI Edge and we are have, we're using a streaming uh, API, the streaming uh, library to making sure all this works. Again, in about 30 lines of code, which is really impressive. Now what I'm doing next is just go on github.com and I'm gonna create a new repository because we wanna ship this baby. So I'm gonna create it, uh, give it a random name and I'm gonna make it public and what else? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna create the repository. Now what here, uh, I have to basically add the remote origin. So I'm gonna go back to the terminal and I'm gonna add that and I'm gonna push this to origin. So we're done with that. Now we're gonna to go to versal.com and basically ship this baby. So doing that, I'm back at the dashboard and I need to add a new project. And here I'm gonna select the one that I just created and I'm gonna deploy it. And with just a few clicks, hopefully this works. Oh, and I forgot another thing, we need to add the environment variable into production. So uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now and basically go to settings, go to environment variables. We have to add our OpenAI SDK key. So I'm gonna to go to the that env, the local uh, folder or file, and I'm gonna copy over the key over there. And I'm gonna save, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to have to redeploy all of this, uh, but just in a few seconds, it will be ready. Now, I'm definitely gonna disable my open API key after this, don't try to use it. Uh, but here I'm gonna redeploy and yeah, just in a few clicks, all of this works. A few years ago, this is such a bigger pain in the ass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we are not gonna, we're gonna navigate to 
So now once we click on this link, we basically were uh, prompted to uh, our production and I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna give it a bigger prompt. And yeah, it's super exciting how quick uh, the streaming API is. And up next is we're gonna start with the Postgres and we're gonna persist the data and make this uh, page even more dynamic. Now we're gonna navigate back to the Versal blog and I wanna really just show you something. So we just did the streaming UI, which you see right over here. And now we're gonna navigate to the helpers and callbacks, specifically the on start and the on completion. We're gonna use this for persisting uh, the Postgres data. Uh, this is super exciting because it just makes it very easy to implement. Uh, now, one of the things we have to do is we're gonna have to set up the Postgres database. So you see this uh, chat next application that I have. I'm gonna click on storage and basically you can create a new database here. Now, uh, you just follow the instructions if you're new to this, uh, it was very easy to do. Now, I already have a database set up, so I'm just gonna connect, connect the existing one that I have. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little coding and then I'm gonna show you the results after this, uh, just to make this uh, a lot more quicker so it doesn't have to be an hour long tutorial. Uh, so, uh, see you in a sec. So here is the uh, updated GitHub. I changed the name uh, to something more suitable. And also basically all this code will be available to you. Now I just navigated back to localhost and um, I prompted it with another through paragraph response where it talks about Mexico City. Uh, but here again, we have implemented Postgres. And then so the data here will persist when I reload the page. Uh, so I think this is really cool. So here I just refreshed again and the data is persistent, uh, which uh, is really cool. On the right here, you can see I added a clear data. So just cleared all the data and I refreshed the page and now we are back at the new screen. Now here you can see I already deployed it to production and now I'm gonna go right into the code. Now the first thing I wanna show you is the, I basically changed the environment to .env.development.local because that's how a Versal prefers it with Postgres. And the first nine fields have to be, or the first nine lines have to be filled out. Uh, again, if you follow the Postgres instructions in Versal, uh, it should do it automatically, but if not, uh, there are a few solutions for this. Uh, I've obfuscated, so I wouldn't have to create a new database. We basically you go to uh, settings, and then you would go to environment variables and I have only uh, all the Postgres uh, environment variables set up. So just make sure that you have it the same way. Uh, now on to the page. So here we basically, what we did is uh, we're using the same AI uh, library and then uh, the use client is basically, is this, this is a, a front end component and we're, because we're using the use state um, parameters of React. Now here you could do something really cool, which is you could set the initial messages. And you can see that I'm doing here with, by getting all the messages using the API event, uh, which I'll show you the API in a second. And then I'm setting the initial messages uh, within the use chat. So that's how basically I'm persisting the messages. I'm basically making a request to the backend and I'm populating the initial messages. Now, another thing uh, is that you see the clear history button or uh, that's basically I'm uh, wiping the records and I'm also clearing the initial messages from the front end and from the back end. Uh, so I thought it was a, a nice touch to this application because maybe I don't want to store historical data. Now here, I'm gonna to move to the back end very quickly and again, some more information, uh, but a lot of it is the same actually. So uh, we're basically setting up the OpenAI config and then we're making sure the, the runtime is edge. Uh, this is needed for the, for the streaming API. So here, uh, the next few lines, you'll see that I'm creating a table and um, technically you would only need to run this once, uh, but I just did it in case you wanna copy this repo. Now, the things that we need to keep in mind here, uh, the most important parts are the role and the content. These are the things I'll be inserting. The ID and the create ad will be automatically created. So uh, now once you, once we go a little further down, now you, you basically see that I'm turning stream to true, um, again, based on the versal documentation. And this is the really cool part is that on start and uh, on completion, these are the callbacks where I'm inserting the information. Now, first what I'm doing is, let's say, uh, just to give you an understanding, hi, how are you? Uh, that is a user message that is basically what populated here. And then on completion would be the AI response, which is right over here. Now, another file I need to make sure uh, you're aware of is the clear.route.ts. And here I'm basically clearing the data uh, from being persisted. And you'll see in the lib.queries where basically all the queries live. Now this covers the tutorial. I want to keep it short. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. 
Now that covers the video. Thank you for watching. Now follow this channel for more emerging tech content and have an amazing day.